The origin story of the COVID-19 pandemic is well known. China's deadly, never seen before. Respiratory virus broke out in this seafood market in the city of Wuhan. The epicenter of China's killer virus. At the end of December. But new research is challenging this familiar story using sewage. It's the fingerprint of the community everybody puts into the wastewater. Because genetic material shows up in sewage, scientists can analyse wastewater to pick up infections they may have missed. And so this is just a really unique opportunity to see, get a pulse on what's happening across the whole community at a given time. By analysing old samples of wastewater, scientists can look back to see when the virus might have first started circulating. One recent paper, yet to be peer-reviewed, suggests the virus was in Barcelona as early as March last year. A lot of people in the field right now, including myself, are looking at that data and wishing they had provided more, uh, more controls. Although there's some scepticism about the Barcelona study, another sewage study found that the virus was circulating in Italy in December, weeks earlier than the first Italian cases were detected. Tantalizingly, in Paris, a review of medical records indicated that their first COVID patient was hospitalized a month before the French outbreak was officially detected. This virus may well have been circulating at a low level in Europe before we saw the large growth in cases. Knowing how COVID-19 began could help to prevent the next pandemic. Cases increase slowly at a low level and you don't really spot them and then suddenly the growth is exponential and that's the point at which everyone's aware that you really have a problem. Knowing how it spreads is just as important and what we know is changing. Ever since the virus emerged, authorities such as the World Health Organization have maintained that unlike measles, COVID-19 isn't spread through the air over longer distances. Now a growing chorus is saying that old wisdom is wrong. There's much more new science and therefore this old dogma should be basically abolished. 200 scientists from around the world argue that microscopic droplets called aerosols, which contain the virus, can hang in the air for long periods of time and infect people, pointing to outbreaks where aerosol transmission is really the only explanation. There are many different pieces of this puzzle which are being put together and which present the picture of the, vir of the significance of the virus spread in the air. If they're right, it could have huge implications for daily life. To start with, mask wearing will need to become much more common. We're also learning a lot more about the disease itself and it's becoming clear that COVID-19 affects far more than just the lungs. Is it's causing problems beyond that that we don't really see to the same extent with other viruses. So heart problems, kidney problems, all these problems due to, to a very strong inflammation response and also problems due to this thickening up of the blood. It can also cause problems in the brain. Professor Tom Solomon recently published a study looking at COVID-19 patients in the UK and found they suffered neurological problems such as psychosis, dementia-like symptoms and strokes. As time has gone on, we've become aware that the brain is infected in, in a, a variety of ways and we're really only beginning to get to the bottom of it. But what's clear is it, it can make people more likely to have strokes, which is when a blood vessel gets blocked up and that causes uh, brain damage. And then also it can cause delirium, which is when people are confused. Those seem to be the common things, but uh, in addition, we're seeing a whole range of other problems. These non-respiratory effects have profound implications for the way COVID-19 patients are treated. Already drug trials using common heart and anti-inflammatory medications are underway. Finding an effective treatment could make this virus much less dangerous than it is. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.